Hey guys, and welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we're back with another first impressions. This one is a review of the Revolution Pro New Neutral Collection, the Passion Palette. I picked these up in my last Ulta haul. It was a rather large haul that was intended to pick up some less expensive makeup for quarantine since I was going through my eyebrow stuff and my foundation, and my concealers really quickly. I was trying not to use my super expensive ones and I was trying to pick up some ones that would work decently, but also did not break the bank. So I wound up spending $200 on uh, affordable products because that's how I roll. And a couple of the things that I picked up were some new palettes and this was one of the ones that I grabbed. Now I did get another one. Uh, I don't, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. That one was like the, I don't know. It was the light pink one. I don't remember the name of it because I have the memory of a goldfish, but here, here we are. But I did a review on that one. Uh, I wasn't super happy with how it turned out just because I think I chose the wrong colors. It was more, le it was less just the palette and more of just like how it, how it came out that day. But I'm excited to test this one out. I'm trying to get a little plastic thingy off so it doesn't reflect when I show you guys the beautiful colors. These are the really lovely colors that are included with this. This one is definitely a darker shaded palette. Uh, a lot of gorgeous pigments in it, a lot of really pretty glitter shades. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a fun little eye look to do today. Nothing too in depth, just a quick little, let's see how this guy, this little guy works. So yeah. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you should consider doing that. We are really cool here. I think, I think we're really cool. Maybe other people don't, but. But we do a lot of this kind of stuff, first impressions, uh, reviews, hauls, unboxings, fun stuff like that. So uh, yeah, you should consider joining the Dark Angel family. Now I'm going in right now with Vice, which is the kind of, it's honestly the only really pink shade that isn't glittery in this palette. And right now it's going on really well. I just kind of did like an initial, like, let's do this type, really excited jumping into it without any like thought or I don't even know. I just forgot what I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? Anyway, here we are. But yeah, I really like it. Uh, like I said, I, I did not plan out what I was gonna do with this palette. I sometimes do and sometimes I'm just like, let's wing it. So here we are winging it. But I really like this color a lot. It's doing a really nice job of giving like a kind of like initial crease and outer corner shade, which if you guys have watched any of my first impressions or me work with palettes in the past, you've seen that's kind of really how I normally start my makeup looks is just kind of go like outer corner and crease and we move on from there and see uh, see what colors we, we add to it and complement it with. Yeah, I really like it. I mean, it's, it's doing a good job of just applying really nicely. I'm a huge fan of Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro. Like I said, I really am still not clear. I really should do more in detailed uh, research to figure out if they are parents, sister companies, whatever. I'm a big fan of both brands. I believe they have some affiliation. If not, then I like them both. But uh, I, I really like the way that their formulas work. Very affordable. This palette was $20 and they just seem to blend really well and have a nice, easy to work with formula. That is a big thing for me. I don't I don't really care about much other than like, can I work with it? So I'm going in now with Secret, which is a light brown shade, kind of like a taupey shade. And I'm just gonna do that on like my brow line, kind of blend that pink in a little bit. And I will go in with a highlight shade on top of that as well. I don't normally do, it's a little bit darker than what I would normally use as like a blending shade but I like it. It's, it's once again, it's just making it look very seamless in terms of where it's like layering on top of the pink that we've done. So, which I, mm, once again, the biggest compliment I can give to this brand is just that they have a very buildable, buildable formula in, in all of their palettes. Really, I haven't used a palette yet that has not been able to layer and blend super, super seamlessly, which especially at their price point, if you're first getting into makeup, I think that's what really makes it like a, a worthwhile investment is, is it's gonna be an easier one to work with. So that way you can kind of get more comfortable, especially with these kind of vibrant colors. This is just like my concealer brush. I'm just going in and kind of like cleaning up some of the, the areas where it's kind of gotten a little bit too messy on the outside. All right, next thing I'm gonna go in with is Sensual. It is a dark purple, almost, I'd say it's almost like a black purple. It's so dark. I'm gonna do that on my lower lash line. And actually, on the eyelid, it's actually coming out a little bit more eggplant, which I like a lot. All right, it's gotten messy, just like my whole life. Fix yourself, ah! All right, I'm liking how the colors are working together. This, this area has gotten
but overall like I said it's very easy to blend I'm just going in with a little bit more pink so I can kind of cover up where it's gotten a little bit like a little wonky if you will okay I'm gonna take a little bit more sensual and I'm gonna go in just and put a little bit of darkness on the outer corner just to give it a little bit extra dimension all right I'm gonna go in with libertine which is a very like loose pigmented glitter pink shade wow that's definitely like a bold statement look i like it i mean it definitely it definitely has fallout but honestly it's loose glitter so what do you expect it actually did a pretty decent job of kind of sticking where i wanted it to that one did less less well <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go in with Sham, which is a nice light kind of champagne-y, what I would call highlight shade. And I'm gonna do that on my inner corner. I'm gonna do that on my brow bone. And then we're gonna put on some mascara and see how it all comes together. I did kind of break my own rule that I have determined works better for the loose glitter pigments, which is where you should put a base color down before you just apply it to a neutral area. So it is patchy in areas, that's my own fault. I should have done it. I thought about it and I was like, no, I wanna see what it looks like just without any of that mistake. But it doesn't look bad. It is very, very um, hyper pigmented in a lot of areas and then there is some patchiness, but I'm not sure from far away if you're really gonna be able to tell if it's, if it's there or not. And it may look actually okay after we get some mascara on it, but we will see. I'm actually gonna curl my eyelashes today. I don't normally do that because I'm terrified of eyelash curlers. But uh, I'm gonna use my little Tresique one with the eyelash curler that I've gotten in both Boxy and Ipsy, so. I literally have nightmares about like turning while I do that and like ripping my eyelashes out. It's, 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 it's a deep fear, a deep fear. No, no. And I went to to swirl my brush to try and even out my thing. I picked up some mascara and now there's mascara all over here. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's fine. It's not fine. Okay, so it was a wild ride. Uh, a lot of mistakes were made. It didn't look horrible, which I'm happy about, but I just, I made a lot of wrong turns along the way. So here we are. Um, I do like it. I will say there is a ton of fallout from the loose glitter on my nose right now. That's, I can't seem to pull off. So it just kind of looks like I got some pink freckles. It is what it is. It's kind of my vibe for the day. Uh, it is what it is. It definitely does look a little bit more sparse, but that is not necessarily a horrible thing. It kind of makes it seem more subtle because I think with the darker colors underneath it to, or even lighter colors underneath it to accent the loose glitter, it would probably make it a lot bolder. Whereas this is a very bold eye look, but I think it's actually neutral for a lot of my bold eye looks. That sounds crazy. If you haven't seen some of my other things that I've done, you're probably gonna be like, this this chick's whack, because that's not subtle, but it, it's, it's pretty subtle for me. So I, um, um, I like it. I like this palette. I like this palette and this I look better than what I created with the other one. So I think that is a good sign. Um, doesn't necessarily mean anything because like I said, it was an off day when I used the other one. I do like it though. Uh, I definitely want to play more with this one as well just to see what else I can do with it. Overall, pretty good palette and I think for $20, it was well worth my money. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, definitely something we're trying to do a lot more of. Uh, sorry if I was quiet today. I just was in my mind a lot, which is probably why I messed up so many places. I apologize for that, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I hope it did help you kind of see a little bit more about this particular palette if you're looking to pick it up. Uh, yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please definitely consider doing that. We would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. Other than that, I hope everybody's staying healthy and safe right now. And other than that, just uh, stay girly with the Dark Twist.